Hey, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. MBO Backyard Fixes. What do we got? What are we looking at? It's the Toro Super Recycler. It's a GTS 6 horsepower. So we've got it tilted over on the side, draining the oil. While we're draining the oil, we're going to look underneath here, see what's going on in the back. And we got the typical buildup underneath here. So <laughs> it's as hard as a rock. Look at that. So guys, man, it's no joke. Clean out your machines. Clean them out. So while the oil is draining, we will be cleaning this out. Be taking off the blade and uh, sharpening it. Checking out the belt. So this is self-propelled. So we'll check out the belt while I get the blade off. And uh, yeah, for real guys. Look at this. Kidding me? I should get like a $10 extra for this. gonna gonna bend my my blade all right well that's gonna take a little more work than usual so we are getting some progress on it look at this pile so you also want to check out the back uh, axle anything that would hinder it from spinning I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not, but it does. It moves. So let's get that blade off. See about getting a little more of this cleaned up. Alright, so we got the blade off, and the blade is. It looks like a new blade, because it's not even. Uh... I don't even know if it needs really need sharpening. Could be bent just a titch. I can pound it back out and straighten it up a little bit. I don't know, it's hard to tell on this particular one. It's got flat edge at the top so but here you can see look how nice that looks that's not even really been used much even though it has all this cake on it yeah I'm not even gonna bother sharpening it so Look at it wobble. Let's see, pull back a little bit. I don't think it's bent. It just, just the shape of it, I guess. Could be, it moves just a titch. Can anybody tell me what a titch is? But it's good. Good to go. That's what we're doing putting it back on. We'll check out the belt while we're here and uh, the belt was really strong because I did mow some of the yard with it so it did work. Clean some of this up and we'll be moving it back together. Alright so Check the belt, it looked good. Let's see what's underneath the top of this. Hmm. 
Not too bad. A little bit of grass. Clean it out. Check the cables. It has a little bit of play in it. But what year is this? What do you think? So let's take a little better look at it. So. Toro GTS Super Recycler. Wonder if it has an engine tag or a model, actual model number. I don't know. Let's see what we got over here. So if you guys know what year this is. Let me know in the comments. So on this particular one, we are not going to change the filter. We're not going to change the spark plug. We are just doing an oil change, checking out the blades, checking out the belts. Standard little... Alright guys, so we have a back wheel on this Toro Super Recycler that is not spinning. So we are going to correct that problem. So what you want to do first, you want to take off the wheel. So there's a nut on the back side that fell off, goes back behind here that goes on there. So I'm just going to put that together. Let's look inside here. So that's all nice and tight. The teeth look good. They don't look all stripped out. So that is good. That goes on there like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there so I don't lose it. And we have a metal gear, and it just spins. So, see what's going on with that. Let's see, we have a clip. There's a clip, a spring, and looks like a washer. Then the actual gear goes on there so I figured that these uh, strip out inside here so I have this one here all right so if we can look inside here, see that opening right there? That right there wears off and then it doesn't hold. So it's probably what happens. Here's This is a used one, but it's a good one. So let's get all this stuff off of here. Let's go find some tools. All right, let's take this off with a screwdriver. And you don't want it to go flying because you will never find it. Definitely don't want it to go far. Alright. 
So did you see that? This clip goes on there. This clip goes on there. And then the spring. A washer. Has like a little cutout. And the gear. So this looks doesn't look to be wore down. We are going to uh all wash. Let's see if we can get right up in here. Where are we at? There we are. So we got the the clip that goes on goes into the groove there. Got the spring comes off, and then we have this. So you can see there's a notch right there, and that goes in that notch. Uh, and then the actual gear drive all right then there are some other things going on in here all right so there is a uh, kind of like a like a chuck key that's broken and then another washer that looks to be broken And there is some pieces missing off of the side. All right, so I'm going to show you what the good side looks like. Remember, there's a nut on the back side. All right, so you can see the same setup. You got the clip, a spring, the washer, and the gear. See this white thing? That piece of plastic in there is one in my parts bin. So I have a baggie filled with parts. So this white thing here fits the chuck key in it that was broken off. So here's what a chuck key looks like. Are we getting that in there? Here's what the chuck key looks like. Kind of looks like an L shaped, right? This is 
what the chuck key looks like on that side. So it's broken off. And yes, there is a left and a right. So I'll have to, I guess, figure out which one's left and right. But this is parts that's left over from another one. Hopefully I have them all. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pull this right out. Just like that. Alright comes out just like that and here is our new one it's gonna go in there so let's take a look at what I was talking about so what you want to look at first let's look at the good one so here is the good one and you can see the notches Okay, here is the old one, you can see that it's completely flat, so the notch would have been right here and right here, but it's nothing, completely wore out. Here is the washer with the ear that's broken off, the ear right there. So those go inside there, and this is the chuck key that's broken. So whoever had this lawnmower has taken it apart and took out some of the pieces because they're missing pieces. That's why I have my bag of goodies over here. put this back together so I went ahead and laid that out so this is exactly how it's gonna go on you've got the washer with the two ears I don't know what these are called the clip you have a plastic rubbery ring the plastic washer that holds the chuck in it, the chuck, the gear, another one of these, spring, and another clip. So on here, you're going to have two clips, so that's why you got two clips. You're going to put this on, and then put these pieces on, then put that clip on there. So first clip's going to go there, you're going to add all this stuff in there and then clip it all in. So let's go ahead and put that up in there. All right. So we're putting this on here, up back in there. Just like that. And we are going to uh, we're going to have to push this in, have that pushed in far enough so you can get these pieces on there. So this is going on. Remember, the two ears are going into the cutouts there. Right there's the cutouts. It's going on there. This is going on here. So. This one here goes in, just like that, and then you have to clip this onto the clip, the first clip. So let's do a little trick. So lift this up and release this all the way to the bottom, push that in all the way. 
then you'll be able to get some more of the axle and you can see where you got to clip that in there so do the same here put this on the bottom and you'll be able to see that's the first ring of the clip right there so this has to go on there I don't know if I can just hold the camera and do it or not. If I got a pair of pliers, maybe. Alright, so now that is clipped on there. We are going to put that ring on there. This is going in there. Let's go on that way. No, I don't think so. Like that, like that. Oops. There goes the thing there. But that right there goes on there. So, and then we have that in there with the chuck key. This goes in there. As you can see it, now it doesn't spin. It only spins the one way. So, and this goes on. The spring goes on. And the clip goes back on. So it should be all back together. I don't have any leftover pieces. Just joking. Those are my pieces. Alright. Let's see if we can get it back on there and test it out. Pull this back up there. Alright. And then if you, you guys notice, these have grease fittings on them. So you do have to grease these. Over here, let's fix the other side. What else? So the wheel goes back on it. We can test it out. Remember the nut goes on the back here. We can get it in, you nut. Alright, you might need something to hold the nut in the little thing back there. And let's crank this on. There we go. Alright. 
we want that at 32. Got to torque that at 32. There we go. Let's get the other wheel on over here. I'm on the other side, guys. Can you see me? I can't see you. Need my screwdriver to hold that nut on. We're gonna do with that. Let's move you over here. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's see if you can see it a little better. So the nut goes back behind here. And get it in there. And how many tries will it take to get the nut in there? So take this, move this down, put that, slide that nut in there, and move this back. There you go. Now it can still slip out. So if you take your screwdriver and hold that back, the nut inside there, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. You know we need a third hand to do this, so let's see if I can spin it with my finger, and the nut is wanting to slide out, so, and it did slide out, put it back in there. There it goes, it grabs it. Alright, then we can get this off of the table. Get this off of the table. 32. Torqued at 32. Hear that little clicking noise. So hopefully we got it in there. All right. We will get it off the table. All right, we are out in the yard and uh, gonna try this out. fixed there we are so you guys uh, this is the backyard fixes MBO backyard fixes did it again
Thanks for watching MBO Backyard Fixes. Pssh.